Over the past few weeks, we've heard lots from big business, we've heard lots from some of the political players, and yet we haven't heard from one crucial group so far, which are small businesses. And that's what we want to change today. So I think generally my view is that at the minute there's a lot of big business leaders droning out the conversation and talking things that affect them. And what I'd like to see is the, um, the sort of debate really cover off more about small businesses and recognise the fact that a lot of people either run their own business or are people who are employed within those small businesses. So in particular I'd like to hear a lot more about uh, legislation and taxation related to small businesses and how that's going to be covered in the future. I actually want to hear good sense and actually in the debate prior to this I haven't heard a great deal. It's a lot of propaganda, it's a lot of scaremongering. I think one of the key concerns for me as an employment solicitor is that uh, people are aware and get good information and true information around the impact of the freedom of workers to move around the EU. Not only that, the impact of British citizens who are already working outside of the country and whether they will be allowed to continue to work elsewhere. And I think really one of the big concerns, I think, is that we just don't have any clear statistics around this. There seems to be a lot of confusion, a lot of misinformation, and just to get an honest answer, uh, I think is going to be essential before people can really make their minds up. Well, I'm really keen to hear the bigger and wider debate about what it would mean if we left to the UK economy and the average community person, the people in the country. Because as a business, I need to thrive with the economy I'm in, the community I'm in are thriving too. So unless we can understand that, unless we can really see what a difference it would make to us as a, a nation and really understand the details of that, then I'm not going to be convinced that leaving is going to be the best option. Things that affect our business primarily are um, uh, to do with ease of trade, so uh, minimising the amount of bureaucracy that we've got, um, that's really important. At the moment it's very easy for us to trade with Central Europe, so um, we don't want to make it any more complicated than it is. I think at present it's slightly challenging to um, actually reach a point of making a decision. Um, the, the output and the data that I'm hearing and reading in the, in the media uh, doesn't really necessarily give me an opportunity to make that, that final judgement. And then of course that, um, we do a lot of work in the EU, the EU gives us a lot of work, uh, we buy services, uh, will we be on the same VAT schemes, will we be able to um, have the same scheme across the EU or will, will we be essentially kicked out and things getting a lot more expensive for us? Well I feel that at the moment there is a lot of uncertainty and not only when it comes to the um, a result of the upcoming referendum but also on the impact that a potential Brexit will have on businesses and particularly on those who do business with other European um, countries. I wish they'd be honest and the honest answer is we don't know. Really, we don't know, this has never been done before, but this is our best guess and I would like to hear some of that honesty coming from the campaigners.